It is November 4th, day after election day, morning of, and we are up at the lease up north. It's morning number one. We're going to be here for a little while and uh, walk out, see what happens. I got down at about 11 o'clock, actually ran to the taxidermist, had to pick up some stuff and drop off the um, double beam buck, buck I just shot uh, down at the farm. But on the same set, I literally left everything in the tree, I just got down and left. Uh, so we're back up here. Should be a good night, we'll see. Um, like I said already, this spot is just a great little pinch point spot. I got a cross like right in front of me at bottlenecks down right here and uh, which a lot of them did this morning so and I forgot to say this is the same spot actually we moved the stand but the same spot that I shot that super short time 10 point uh, two years ago so it's a good spot it's super warm I forgot how warm 60 degrees was and I like walked out here super fast I had to get up in the stand and like, take my boots off and roll my pants up because I was sweating so hard.
Welcome everyone to another another hunt. We uh that was super weird. We uh just went back for two days, me and my dad back down south. Um but we're back up at the lease now for the final push the last week until gun seasons. So we have five days. I think today's the ninth. So we got five-ish days um, before gun season rolls around. So we're gonna be up here hunting hard, hunting every day. Probably all day sits after today. Um, it's 75 degrees right now, so I'm not real excited about getting in the stand in 75 degrees, but it's the rut. You gotta do what you gotta do. It's like three o'clock right now, so kind of late. Um, really want to get out by like two if it was like an afternoon sit. But anyways, we're gonna get um, dressed and locked and loaded, ready to go. We got the bow ready to rock. And um, I'm trying to find if I have some early season. Oh, yes I do. Okay, good. Got some thinner pants that I'm definitely gonna wear. And um, should be good to go. Rolling like one layer because it's so dang hot.
he's just staying in there. He just took a step when I shot him. It's probably a liver shot. Watched him lay down. It's just like so dumb. He was only 20 yards away. I stopped him and then went through my shot. And like right when I shot, he just took another step. And the shot doesn't look bad. It's 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 a direct liver hit. But he just laid down, which is good. His tail's flicking a bunch. He's gonna die. This is gonna be just be a second. <laughs> he's not. He's not a super big buck, but he, he's wide, he's outside the ears, and uh, it got me going on his own. Here's another buck. So that's a six point we've been seeing. It's never what you want. You never want a long, or it hasn't even been that long. It's only been maybe 10 minutes, but you always want as fast as possible, you know, after the shot for the next buyer. But there's a spike. But that's bow hunting. So nothing's ever perfect, rarely perfect, but we're gonna give them we're gonna give him some more time and then uh, I'm gonna go check him out. He's got a cool look. straight up liver shot is like thick dark blood and uh because you're basically like shooting through shooting through like this solid chunk of blood compared to like the lungs which is more bubbly and stuff but there's my stand right there so it was like 15 15 20 yard shot or so and uh kind of weaseled it through some stuff but it worked out perfect Okay, it is currently two o'clock right now. Turns out I got down and he still not 100% expired. So I just backed out, waited, gave him all afternoon. And like I said, that was only, that was not long after I shot him to where I saw him bed down, got down. I got down and got eyes on him and again and I could just see. So it sucks, but is what it is, part of bow hunting. But uh, by now, we should be good. Um, I'm going to get the deer cart and uh, go back in there. And hopefully, he's just laying right there. Hopefully, we can find him. And um, that'll be a wrap. I just found him. He gave me a little scare. Because he went probably 80 yards from his last bed. He's right there. See that shot was just like a little bit far back. Oh, he's cool. He's just super wide. Look how wide that dude is. Well outside the ears. Comes all the way in the front. Man, I'm sorry dude, I give you 
bad shot. But he's cool. Super happy for a northern lower peninsula buck. Because we're kind of in a uh, more like a big woods type country. So a buck like this it ain't that bad. Well, I just drug this guy a very long ways. Well, I had to drag him, then I threw him in the cart for a while, and then it was too steep of a hill that the cart just kept rolling backwards. So then I had to drag him uphill a long ways. So, I'm exhausted. <laughs> but I'm super happy. I'm tagged out. 2020 ain't that bad. 2020 Michigan deer season is a wrap and uh, got it done in, well for my first buck, I got it done in two days down at the farm. And then I think this is only my fifth or sixth day here. So pretty much the biggest buck I've had in range. And um, we got him. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this Michigan series. And uh, Michigan's always like one of my most favorite places to hunt. If not the most um, favorite because I've literally been hunting on this property since I was 13, 12, 13. So long time, 10 plus years. So that's cool just to come back and, and hunt a bit for, with my dad. So but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out BeerWorldMerch.com. Help support the channel if you really like it. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, thank you guys. And we'll catch you next time.